Hello, my name is T. Robert Piccini, and this is Roberto Diaz. We both work for Laguna Clay Company. Laguna is the largest ceramic supplier in the United States for clay, glazes, and pottery equipment, meeting your ceramic needs since 1932. Today, we're going to introduce you to the instructions on how to replace the bands and belts on your GT400 and 800 Pacifica pottery wheel. To replace bands or belts on your wheel, start by unplugging the wheel. For safety, always unplug your wheel prior to any inspection or parts replacement. Tip the wheel up, resting it on the two back legs of the tabletop. Never turn your wheel completely upside down on its wheel head. To begin, we're going to remove the bottom cover of the wheel. The next step is to remove the old bands. With a firm tug, remove one band at a time. Often customers do not know how old their wheel is. In this case, remove the existing bands and measure the length. The bands stretch over time from use, and if your band is longer than 42 inches, but shorter than 50 inches, then your wheel requires a 42 inch band replacement. If the band is 50 inches or longer, then your wheel requires a 50 inch band replacement. Another way to determine the length of the band you need for replacement is to measure the old band and double your results. You may also cut the old band and lay it out to measure. A third way is to take a string, place it into the grooves around the motor stem and the flywheel, then measure your results. Next, Roberto will show you how to put new bands onto your potter's wheel. To assist in easy replacement of the bands, place them in a container of hot tap water. Do not heat water on the stove or use other devices to heat, such as heat guns or hair dryers. Soaking bands in hot tap water will allow the bands to become softer and more malleable, making it easier to stretch up over the flywheel. Pull the band up toward the flywheel and set the band into the closest groove on the flywheel. Then, while holding it firmly in place, turn the wheel to the right and the band should fall into the groove and seat itself. Repeat this process using the next available groove until all four bands are seated into the four grooves in the stem and the flywheel. Some Pacifica potter's wheels were built using a single belt instead of four bands. Replacing the belt is similar to replacement of bands. First, ensure the belt is centered on the stem. The grooves of the belt should match up with the grooves on the stem. Pull the belt up and over the flywheel. Once you have replaced your belt, test it for tension by pushing firmly on the belt. For correct tension, the belt should not flex more than a half inch. To increase tension, loosen the nuts located under the motor mount. After loosening the nuts under the motor mount, you will then tighten the nuts located at the top of the motor mount. This will lower the motor and put more tension on the belt. If your wheel requires a belt, first determine the size belt you need. If you have any questions or need further instruction, feel free to call us here at Laguna at 1-800-452-4862 and ask for technical assistance. Or visit our website at www.lagunaclay.com. Thank you for watching our YouTube videos. We hope you enjoyed them. Please feel free to subscribe so we can keep you abreast of what's happening in the Laguna Clay Company. And as you'll see on the right, please scroll on to any of the videos that we have up upstage for you so you can follow what we're doing. Thank you very much.